हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर वन इन टीचर्स ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ हियर आई एम बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द चैप्टर आई विल टेल यू सम डेफिनेशन विच यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन क्लास सिक्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल टेल यू अबाउट नेचुरल नंबर्स चिल्ड्रन व्हाट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स एंड आई होप यू नो दैट व्हाट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स नेचुरल नंबर्स चिल्ड्रन ऑल द काउंटिंग नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स एक्सेट्रा दीज ऑल आर नेचुरल नंबर्स ओके सो वॉट आर नेचुरल नंबर्स काउंटिंग नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड काउंटिंग काउंटिंग नंबर्स आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल नंबर्स okay and uh, 1 2 3 4 and uh, so on these uh, all counting numbers these all are counting numbers and these are known as natural numbers okay now students uh, i will tell you about whole numbers you have studied about whole numbers also in class 6 again i am telling you what are whole numbers children all natural numbers all natural numbers together with zero are called होल नंबर्स ओके ऑल नेचुरल नंबर्स टुगेदर विद जीरो आर कॉल्ड होल नंबर्स ओके नाउ इन टीजर्स नाउ this uh, definition also you have uh, studied last year in the chapter of integers yes uh, now question comes what are integers children all natural numbers okay all natural numbers zero and negative of all counting numbers are called integers okay so now what are integers all all natural numbers all natural numbers uh, zero and and negative of counting numbers are called integers okay negative of negative of counting numbers <coughs> um are called integers okay now students here now one question will come in your mind then what are 
what are what is the examples of integers so students here all counting numbers natural all counting numbers or you can say all natural numbers 1 2 3 4 like this and here 0 0 and uh, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this all these are integers okay now students see once again what are natural numbers counting numbers are called natural numbers 1 2 3 4 etc are all natural numbers and whole numbers all natural numbers together with zero are called whole numbers like here 0 1 2 3 4 etc are all whole numbers okay and integers all natural numbers zero and negative of negatives of counting numbers are called integers okay so here minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 4 these all are uh, these are integers okay now after this students i will explain you about properties of addition of integers okay first i will explain you its first uh, property of addition of uh, integers the first property is closer property of addition students the sum of two integers is always an integer okay this is the closer property listen very carefully what is closer property of addition the closer property of addition is the sum of two integers is always an integers here you can see 5 and plus 4 if we get uh, if we add we get 9 Okay, here five is an integer and four is an integer. When we add uh, both of them, we get nine, and this is also an integer. Okay, which is an integer. Okay, one more example I am telling you. Uh, here six plus Minus eight. Okay, when we solve it, we get minus two. Here six is an integer, minus eight is an integer. When we solve it, we get minus two, which is also an integer. Now, students, keep this thing in your mind. Okay, what is closer property of addition? When we add two integers, we always get an integer. Okay, the sum of two integers is always an integers. I have shown this thing uh, using these two examples. Now come on the next property of addition of integers. The next property is commutative.
कम्यूटेटिव लॉ ऑफ एडिशन हेयर स्टूडेंट्स वॉट इज कम्यूटेटिव लॉ ऑफ एडिशन स्टूडेंट्स इफ ए एंड बी आर टू इंटीजर्स ओके देन सम ऑफ ए प्लस बी एंड बी प्लस ए इज कम्स इज सेम ओके सो फॉर कम्यूटेटिव लॉ यू कैन सी हियर हियर ए इज अ A is an integer and B is also in, an integer. If we add A plus B or uh, if we add B plus A, we get the same sum. Okay. If we add minus four plus five, minus four plus five, then we will get minus. Uh, sorry. we will get 1 and when we add 5 plus minus 4 then also we will get 1 okay so in commutative law of addition if a and b if a and b these two are any two integers then a plus b is equals to b plus a okay now children i will explain you the third property of addition of integers the third property is associative law of addition for this law the students we will use three integers okay three integers here i am taking a b c any three integers okay so if a b c are any three integers then a plus b plus c is equals to a plus b plus c okay now children if uh, i am uh, going to explain it now using some integer okay now here suppose that a is 2 b is 3 and c is minus 4 okay the same thing we will use here a is 2 b is 3 and c is minus 4 okay so here now we will solve it clear to solve when we solve it here we will get 5 plus minus 4 okay after solving this here we will get One, you know how plus minus minus here four and we will get here one. Now two, we will add this three. Three plus minus four. Three plus minus four. When we solve, we will get minus one. Okay, minus one. So here. when 2 plus minus 1 when we will we will solve we will get here 1 like this we can see if we add a plus b first and after that we are adding c to a plus b then we are getting here 1 okay using these numbers and if we are adding 3 b plus c here 3 plus minus 4 and then this with the this two we are also get uh, here also we are getting one so this is called associative law of addition okay now students after this i will explain you existence of 
additive identity. This is the next property of addition of integers. Okay. Existence of additive identity. So now see what is uh, additive identity. So students for any integer a, okay, for any integer a, a plus 0, a plus 0 is equals to 0 plus a is equals to a. So here what is additive identity? Here this 0 is, this 0 is called Additive identity. Okay. If we add a, a with uh, 0 or 0 with they, we will get a. And what is additive identity here? 0 is an additive identity. Okay. So, like this, you can see for numbers also. Here, 3 plus 0 uh, is equals to 0 plus 3 is equals to 3. And here, 0 is an additive identity. Okay. Now see the next property of addition of integers. The next one is uh, existence of additive inverse. Students, according to this property, uh, the sum of an integer and its opposite is 0. So, here I am going to take, take an integer a. Okay. So, for any integer a and here minus a. Here you can see I have written opposite of this integer. Okay. It is plus a and here it is minus a and after adding these two integers we will get 0. Okay. And if we add minus a plus a then oh, sorry then also we will get 0. Okay. The opposite of an integer a is minus a and here you can say the opposite of uh, mm, integer minus a is a. And when we add both of them, we will get 0. Okay? Now, listen once again. For any integer a, we have a plus minus a is equals to minus a plus a is equals to 0. Okay? And here the opposite of a is minus a and opposite of minus a is a. Or we can say the sum of an integer and its opposite is 0. For this case also you can see and for this case also you can see. Okay? The sum of an integer and its opposite is 0. Okay, additive inverse and now one more thing I want to tell it here, it is opposite of this A, but what we will say here, additive inverse of A is minus A and similarly additive inverse of minus A is A. Okay, here. Additive 
inverse of a is minus a and uh, additive inverse of minus a is a okay and when we add we get zero okay like this we, we can see there is the same thing with numbers also here additive inverse of 6 is minus 6 okay and when we add then what we will get 0 add if we take minus 6 then additive inverse of minus 6 is plus 6 and its sum is also 0. Here additive inverse of this 6 is minus 6. Okay. And additive inverse of minus 6 is 6. Okay. Now students I will tell you about properties of subtraction of integers. Okay. Now see properties of subtraction of integers <coughs> here you see the first property of uh, uh, subtraction of integers closer property of subtraction Closer properties, sorry, property of uh, subtraction. Here students, if A and B are any two integers, then A minus B is always an integer. Okay. Now listen once again what I am saying. If A and B are any two integers, then A minus B is always an integers. Here you see I am taking two integers 2 and 6 minus 6. Okay. 2 and 6. Sorry minus 6 no. 2 and 6 I have taken two integers. When we subtract here we will get here minus 4. Okay. And here minus 4 is also an integer. Here 2 is an integer, 6 is an integer. When we subtract 6 from 2, we will get an integer. This is called closer property of... Okay. One more example I am going to show you. Here minus... Uh, min, uh, sorry, 3 minus and one more integer I am taking, negative integer I am taking, here minus 5. Okay, here 3 is an integer, minus 5 is an integer. When we will solve here 3 minus and this minus 5, we will get here 3 plus 5 and we, uh, we will get 8. Okay. So, when we subtract minus 5 from 3, we will get 8. Here 3 is an integer, minus 5 is an integer and here coming 8 is also an integer. Okay. So, listen once again. If A and B are any two integers, then A minus B a minus B is also an integer. Okay. Now, the second property is commutative, but subtract in subtraction, commutative property of integers is not valid. Okay. Subtraction of integers is not commutative. 
here I am going to show you this thing. How subtraction of integer is uh, integers is not commutative. Now see. Look here, if I am subtracting minus 5 from 2, A, this A, suppose that A is 2, B is minus 5. Okay, so uh, here we will get 7, okay, A minus B. Now we will do B minus A. Then what is happening? Now see, when we subtract uh, minus, uh, when we subtract 2 from minus 5, now minus 5, minus 2, here what is coming? Minus 7. We can see here, this 7 is not equals to minus 7. So we can say that subtraction of integers is not commutative. Okay? Now the third one I am going to tell you and in this point I will tell you that subtraction of integer is not associative. Okay. Now see this thing also how subtraction of integers is not associative to show subtraction of integers is not associative students I am going to take 3 minus 4 and minus 5 for A, B and C respectively here now if we write 3 minus minus 4 like this in a bracket and then minus minus 5. Then here what will come? Here 3 plus 4 and this minus minus 5 here 3 plus 4 7 and this minus and this minus plus and 5 and after solving this we will get 12 ok and here in this step you can see I have written 3 and minus 4 with subtraction sign in a bracket ok now in the next step we will write the same numbers but minus 4 and minus 5 we will write in one bracket. Okay, now see in this step 3 I am writing outside the bracket. Now minus sign and minus 4 and this minus 5 I am writing in this bracket. Okay, here you can see I have written here 3 minus 4 in this bracket and here minus 4 and in this minus 5 in this bracket. And now this 3 we will write first and now minus, now we will solve this bracket. Here minus 4, uh, minus 4 plus 5. Okay, minus 4 plus 5 uh, after solving this, we will get my plus 5 because minus minus, they have plus and plus 5 is coming. Now, we will simplify this thing more. 3 minus and minus 4 plus 5. When we solve, what will come here? 1 will come. Okay. And now 3 minus 1, what comes? 
two. Okay. Therefore, this the uh, three minus minus four minus minus five. This thing is not equals to three minus minus four minus minus five. Okay. So we can say now that this thing is not come equals to this thing. How? Because it is coming twelve, and here it is coming two. So these two things are not equal. So this step is not equal to this step. So we can say subtraction of integers is not associative. So students. today we will discuss only this much property now students listen your work which you have to do in your copy number 1 uh, you have purchased one register so one you have to use as register number 1 in that register you be, uh, you have to do integers chapter okay and uh, So you will write introduction of the chapter first. In introduction, in today's date, you will write definition of natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, properties of addition of integers, properties of subtraction of integers. The students, these all properties and definitions you have to write from. i your r s agrawal book and the students you will give only one or two examples for any definition or for any property okay today's uh, work is this much only and uh, in the next video i will explain you some more properties of integers thank you